you're about to see a seven million dollar futuristic glass penthouse that was abandoned many many years ago some of the locals even call this place the toaster because of its strange resemblance at the very top so join me today and let's explore this futuristic glass penthouse let's go What's up guys, we are, right now we're about to go explore an abandoned skyscraper that has a futuristic $7 million penthouse on the top, made of completely out of glass. So right now we're walking around the side, I'm going to figure out how to get in and everything like that. Let me show you what we're seeing from our view. It's kind of a little scarier on these because you never know about homeless people and stuff like that. Let's check it out. With Justin today. Oh, this thing's massive. 19 stories. Check out this old gate. Yeah. Such a huge building. I'm not gonna spend too much time outside, guys. We're about to just full send this thing. Um, so wish us luck. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We haven't done anything kind of crazy like this in a while. The mansions are a little bit, we're not too too scared about mansions and stuff, but stuff like this, it's a little bit more on the scary side. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna go assess how we get in, and then we're gonna check it out and take you all the way up to the top to that glass penthouse. So, without further ado, let's get right into the story of this place. Um, to hear what happened to it, see what happened to this whole building and the history behind it. This place is pretty old, full of great architecture, and I'm just excited to take you in. So let's get right into it. I'll see you inside. In today's exploration, we're venturing to the south to check out an abandoned $7 million glass penthouse. The building itself was originally constructed in 1916 but a fire forced the workers to demolish the building and start over from scratch. Finishing the 17-story skyscraper in 1918. Later on in 1976, a famous architect designed the glass penthouse on the very top of the building. Not a lot of people like this design because it really doesn't match the rest of the structure, with one critic calling it an eyesore and that it resembles a Darth Vader helmet or a villain's lair. But not all locals dislike this place. Some have stated that they used to love going to art shows in the penthouse, as well as some people who even had their weddings at the very top. Hopefully one day, this entire building can be brought back to life in some way. But as of now, there are signs of homeless and vandals that have made their way inside. So join me today and let's see what's left. All right, guys, we have made it inside of the abandoned skyscraper. Now in here is a penthouse, $7 million penthouse, completely made of glass. That's our goal is to make it up there. It's probably gonna be a lot of repetitiveness, so I'm just gonna show you the lobby and a few floors that I think are worth showing you because a lot of it is offices. And then obviously the penthouse at the end. So hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm with Justin today. And let's take a look around the lobby a little bit, this first floor. And then we're going to go up and see what we can find. So um, glad we made it in here. Thank you. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm in the lobby now. It's quite gutted. There's still a little bit of power on. Looks like some stairs that go down. Let's go check that out here in just a second. These are our stairs where we're going to go up. And then right here, look at this. We have our brass elevators, beautiful chandeliers, all through this main part right here. What's down there? 
Yeah. It opens up and it's like underground, like brick tunnel looking things, really cool. So we'll go check that out here in a minute. It might be tunnels and stuff. So this is like your main walkway when you first walk into the building. These would have all been offices, but they have gutted this place. It's been abandoned for a, for a while. So you can see the paint peeling everywhere. But like I said, guys, this whole part is pretty much gutted, so I don't want to waste too much time. We have a lot of floors to go up to get to the penthouse, so you ready to head there, bro? Actually, first, let's let's go down here and see if we can see anything first, and then we'll head up. Just keep going, keep going. I just keep going down? Yeah. It's a little scary. Yeah, it gives it a little bit of that vibe. This looks a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. What on earth, bro? What is this? I don't see anything. Does it keep going? The elevators. Do they keep animals down here? Why are these probably connected that far? This one just goes to the stairs that go on both sides. Where they go to? That staircase don't look trustworthy, bro. The road, bro. The roof, I mean. Oh, okay. This place is looking a little freaky down here with this wood. Dude, what is going on here? Do they have animals down here? It goes further this way. That way? Both ways. It's all water down there. You almost stepped in that. Uh, I dude, that is stagnant water. That is, you will get flesh eating bacteria going in there. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. The lights being on in here, too, with all this water down here. It looks frozen. That water is literally so still. That water probably hasn't moved in so long. Ew. You can see the film. Look, it just goes right back. Imagine saying, like, <laughs> I feel like I drank monster since we come up to like, <laughs> oh my eat whatever I throw. That's creepy, bro. Guys, let's just waste some time. Let's head upstairs. Let's start going. This is a little bit of creepy basement. Let's get out of here and go, uh, go upstairs. Let's find the penthouse. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Let's go. water okay I was quiet there for a minute because we thought somebody might be up here a little scary when you're in a city like this I don't know these doors are shut HVAC so this is what are we on floor 12 now it's so bright in here so now we're in the bigger section of the whole building. Oh, this is all mushy. It smells like rain in here. Squishy floors. Not squishy, but mushy. 
a lot of water damage has been getting in here. I think we're on floor 12 right now. Yes, this floor is This floor is nice. It's much less graffiti on these floors up here than we were seeing. So much water is coming in on this floor. Has all the workers' names on here, probably for their mail slots. Got these French doors going through. And this side's like completely dry on floor 12. All pretty much the same kind of repetitive. I'm gonna try to skip the repetitiveness stuff as you guys saw on the, some of the other floors. We didn't really check them out much because they were just shells. We're gonna do our best to just uh, show you what the cool stuff is and then get to the penthouse. So hope you guys are enjoying. Let's keep going up. Stop keep making our way up. Now we're on floor 14. This is fire stair again. Wow, the wallpaper is kind of it's like a greenish gold in a way. Private elevator. Oh. Buttons for the elevator. Check this out. Look at these. These are so cool. Yo, private elevator. I wonder if we'll be able to see the elevator when we go up further. Let's go out to. It's just really close right there. It has all water right there. Oh snap. So, yeah. Nice bathroom. Door has this like chalice on it. So this side's pretty decorative, I'd say. Has an M on this. So that must be for men's bathroom, and that's probably women's bathroom right there. Floors are like marble in here too. Looks like there might be some stuff left behind back here. This was definitely offices of some sort. Check it out, we got a desk in here. Really big desk at that. And the walls are like this fabric. Interesting. More offices. So I feel like a lot of the building up top is probably office space, things like that. Look at that, that's probably where they had uh, security and stuff like that. Even wraps around this way. Got another little section down here. This is, so far, this is the biggest floor we've made it to. Curtains are still up in here. Definitely office space, all of this. Pink, exploring all these floors is crazy. Getting tired going up here too. Let's keep going up, 15 next. We gotta make it all the way to what, 19? Yep. That's the penthouse. Yeah. 19 floors, so oh man, we're getting there. Let's keep on going. All right, floor 15, just made it up. Floors look are, are looking really nice in here. Fire stair. First thing off, we got a, a bathroom here. That elevator is fancy, bro. Look at that. Dude, this was part of this. No, was it? Oh, dude, the elevator. No way. Is it the private one the last, bro? Is that the elevator? Like it's right there? This is the private one. Yeah, this is it. Oh, no way. But you can see the inside of this elevator too. It's really fancy looking. Yeah. Wow. I'm not going to stand in that. That would suck. Right. So this is the elevator that goes to the penthouse. 
Oh, it's like this is actually the inside. Oh, wow. Yo, that's sick. Do you notice the, the lion head statues right there? Yeah, you can see them. They're right there on the edges. That's crazy. Did not expect to see that. The bathroom here. Goes to the boiler room. Right there, a little tight squeeze, so we'll just shut that. So I was gonna say this might be part of the penthouse, but with these elevators being here, that wouldn't make sense. But this is kind of luxurious up here a little more. Oh shit. <laughs> Scared me. Justin's outside. Got green floors here. So I guess there is some roof access. More balconies. Is this sketchy at all? I just realized it was wood, but like I part got squishy over there. But I think I think it's just a deck on top of the I got you. Roof. Wow. The architecture. Is that a pineapple? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this place is falling apart. Check that out. <laughs> I've never seen blinds and worse than this. All the details. Sorry. Crazy how there's roof access right here like this. I've <laughs> never seen blinds more tangled up. How the <laughs> than that right there. <laughs> how are you gonna accomplish that? How do you even get that undone? I do that if I wanted. <laughs> so what's part of what is this part? This has to be offices. Yeah. More green rooms. This feels like offices. Yeah, watch the wood. More of the same thing over here. Even got the details on the siding there too. What else is on floor 15 here? Looks like that's it. So time to go up to floor 16, see what's up there. All right, it looks like we made it up to floor 16 now. So I'm get really tired. What is this? It's an apartment? It's a bird skeleton. Bird skeleton? Oh, I see it. Column looks nice. Yeah. What was this part? This feels like an... It feels like it could be an apartment, but it also feels like it could be an office. What if this was also part of the penthouse? There's bird scat everywhere. If birds get in, they ain't coming out. I think this is an apartment, bro. There's... Whoa. Yeah, there's a bathroom right here, tub and everything. I think this was part of the penthouse. The whole fridge right here. Can't to open it up. It ain't a Big Banks video if we don't open the fridge. Can't do that on it. Oh, dude. Nasty. That Chinese food? That's some takeout. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Stinks. You know, that makes sense actually, this being part of it. All right guys, we made it up to 8.37 now. And I think one more floor and we're at the penthouse. It's really dark. This is the floor we're on right now though. It looks like all the HVAC and electrical stuff. Check that out. Big machines in here. So obviously like this floor is kind of where the penthouse starts. But this is like the boiler room and and all that kind of stuff, maybe even a little workshop. All the electrical, all the all the machinery and stuff that powers the building and HVAC, all that stuff's right here. And then there's one more little start section right here. I think it even just wraps around. So you got all your breaker boxes. It's a little bit creepy. Oh, there's a dog cage here. Yeah, Did, there's no way they kept the dog here, bro. I guess, I mean, Would that, if you were like rich enough to have like a penthouse area and you had a pet, you deserve to have like its own space. You think it's for a dog? Yeah, but right here, <laughs> this is like, I mean, there's, bolt, there's buckets of water there. I don't know if that's for like the dog, but. Putting the dog right here, but that's cruel, bro. <laughs> I assumed it looked a little better than this. Yeah, it might have, but even then, it's still like tucked way back here. Yeah, it is. Not what I expected. Let's make our way up the stairs and check out this penthouse. 
on some green steps right now. Fire hose has been thrown about. Looks like when we get up here, the floor and the walls change to this marble. And you got an elevator here. So this must have been the guy's personal elevator. All the, floor, all the floors and walls are marble. We gotta find the, uh, the big glass part. Look, the elevator went straight, or just the pet so it had a key. Really? So just a private elevator. Yeah, so it was only for his key. I think this probably goes up to the glass part, but there's rooms over here, so let's check that out first. So they had a mini fridge. Not much of a kitchen, huh? It's an older mini fridge at that, too. Purple walls. Okay, we got some cabinetry. Oh, all right. So either this was a bedroom or probably a bedroom, but there's no bed. It's a couch, but it's a pull-out couch. Looks like maybe squatters have been here. Gives off that squatter vibe. Definitely been vandals up in here. That's gross. Huh. Oh, here's the bathroom, check it out. Wow, look at that. That's incredible. Like this pink and red, like granite right here. Nice tub, you can tell this is more like a, like a 90s feel. So maybe it was last updated in the 90s. See the extensive damage to the place. Check it out. This is crazy, guys. Toilet back here. Probably don't want to look too much in that. There's actually a tree in it. Smells bad back here. With vandals having got to this place, people have definitely been using the toilet. So it's uh, quite gross. And then there's a closet. So this must have been a bedroom. Very cool. The purple's nice, too. Looks like we got another closet right here. And this has more. This has like the HVAC stuff in it this couch wouldn't have been too bad but you know graffiti artists and stuff now what's really cool about this place is all the glass now we haven't even gone upstairs yet to see the glass part but it is right above us we have a balcony here wow it's beautiful guys check it out get a whole view of the the city. They even built it with these nice iron gates. This like old style right here kind of reminds me of like the, the Empire State Building in a way. You have like other sections that go around here. You can see the rooftops of other buildings. And you just get a whole view from this balcony. Imagine coming and sitting up here when you're just bored or something. You can just get this amazing View up here, you got plants. Justin's chilling back here. There's a grill, bro. Charcoal grill? A smoker. I don't know what those slots are for. Is it a drain? Are these gutters? It could be a gutter, yeah. Actually, it looks like, the, are those hoses? Was this like I a fountain? Yeah, it looks like a faucet, but like it could be. Was this like a fountain thing? Sun came up, really. Oh yeah, it says two ninety nine on that. So each one has their own, has their own little marking. Pretty beautiful. Imagine living in something like this, bro. I know. To be honest, not for me. I like, I like grass, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like having a little bit of land to walk out on. I like the ground too. We're not on the ground. We feel like most penthouses are like huge, like mansions. Yeah. I mean, this one's pretty big when you get up to the glass part, but yeah. it's a one bedroom. An intercom speaker. I mean, it's got the luxuries of a mansion, but like, it's just, it's smaller, but you know, it's a penthouse and it's all glass. So, you know, yeah. it's still luxurious. You ready to go back up? All right, now we're gonna go up to the glass part and show you all that. So let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna come back out, come back to this marble section. steps. It's like the door is open. Now we're entering the 19th floor. 
You can already see the door handle. It's one of those like 90s flat door handles like that. Wow. Dead body. Got the elevator again. This one actually has the buttons, but you have to have a key also to even use it. And here we are. Wow. So this is what you get when you get in here. Now let me ask you this. Do you think there was a kitchen in this room? Kitchen in here? Yeah. Because I didn't see like a full kitchen for a $7 million penthouse. Well, yeah. I think it might have been up here, but they removed the stuff. Like, I feel like if it was here, cause there's like these things in the floors here, could have been up here. Still have some furniture left behind. Oh, wait, there's something back over here. Did you see this, Justin? There's like a room back over here. Yeah. Don't tell me this is the kitchen. It is, bro. There's the burner right there. Oh, it's just that right there. Nice. So you get this very, very small space to make something for seven million dollars. That's crazy. <laughs> so they got this big piece of furniture here. Doesn't look too bad. They had all these plants. Obviously, they had not been watered. They have been getting sunlight, plenty of sunlight because all the glass. Imagine this. This was probably the living room. Really? Like, this one's in there good. This one's like so much. Well, this one's busted, so I wonder what happened. Do you think it all fell and just hit the ground? Like, Probably. if nobody was walking, I mean, lucky, lucky nobody got hit with that. So, yeah, now you can see that balcony we were just on. So, it's all glass in here, all everywhere. They do have shades going up the sides. Like you saw, look at the lighting. Even up there, it has recessed lighting. This is such a huge space. Probably 30, 40 foot ceilings here. Those are pretty massive. Um, and that is the uh, like slanted glass right there, but they have all these covers on here so it doesn't get too bright. And I imagine all of these windows had covers on them too that you could, uh, that you could use, but it's all been taken out now. All in here is marble, all the walls, all the floors. You can see the, I believe that's AC system that comes through there. There's even a little outlet down there. I just wonder how they had it set up, like, like as far as their living room. They still got really nice furniture. It's all cracked out, but it was nice at one point. Looks like it even burned inside. So you can tell some people have come up here just to hang out and chill and you know, graffiti a little bit, but there is a drawer here that has some things left in it. Some real estate cards, some sweet and low, nothing too crazy. Looks like we got roof access up there. So that's gonna be our, where we end this video at. But I wanna see what's left over here still. Still got plants. Here's all the drawers for those, uh, for those dressers over there. Look at the views, the city out there. This is just gorgeous, guys. I can't believe they left a piece of furniture like this. I can imagine it wouldn't be easy to move it out, though. Being the elevator's probably small, all this glass. I bet you, bro, that was big one, that was one big piece of glass right there. Yeah. One giant piece of glass that just fell and shattered right there. I don't think we've ever filmed an abandoned penthouse before. I know I tried one one time, but it didn't work out. It was in a totally different state, but yeah.
this one. I'm very excited to be showing you this. This is like a futuristic looking like penthouse up here. But now I want to take you guys up here, up these stairs on this side, to see where that big glass panel was. Maybe there's another room up there and then maybe we'll, we, have, we gotta go to the roof. So let's see what's up on this. There's more plants here. Love how bright it is in here too. Let's take a look up these stairs. You got these carpeted stairs, spiral staircase. Has some controls right here. Dimming the lights and stuff like that. Coming up the stairs. Um, it's, it's pretty small, but I assume you could put something here like a hanging out area, like a little couch, maybe like just something to chill. And that big glass panel was right here and somebody just knocked it out and busted it. I bet they got a kick out of that. But imagine this is what you'd be looking at from up here. Check this out. Temperature adjusters. East zone, west zone, south zone, corridor. Has a timer on it. And you got the ladder that leads all the way to the roof. So let's take a look. All right guys, we made it to the roof. Came up through that ladder as you saw. And now watching the sunrise. We made it up here and it's beautiful guys. Check it out. Look at the sunrise. It's like kind of misty in a way too. It just looks gorgeous. You got the river right there. Justin's up there. This is insane. We haven't done one of these in a long time. Coming up this ladder was very scary. That's it guys, we made it to the roof and I'm so glad that we got the opportunity to show you guys this place. It's pretty amazing and uh, I'm excited to uh, just be able to see this beautiful view this morning and show you guys this. Let's take in that view for a second. Beautiful. And with that being said, that's the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, abandoned $7 million penthouse and the rest of this crazy building. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Justin for coming with. We tried this, what, a year ago? Yeah. About a year ago and we couldn't get in and finally did it. And uh, it's pretty cool to say the least. All glass penthouse. Don't see that too often. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Big Banks out.